Okay, so some of you have asked me to show you how to make the little circuit board for the kids' voice box. Um, well, I'm going to do that right now. But before I start, I will say before you start, you do need one of these. Nice cup of tea first. All right, make sure you've got your cup of tea because this thing is a pain in the backside. So you need a circuit board, a solder board. Two four seven zero capacitors. If you want to do this with uh, a bit of relaxation, gotta have it, gotta have it. Maybe not. Okay. <coughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to get the capacitors, okay? Now on the front of the capacitors it's grey. Now many of you would know these as positive, negative. I'm not electrically minded so I wouldn't really know. Okay? So I'm only going to do what I've made so that you get what I made. Alright. So the first thing you want to do is the, uh, the grey, I believe that's negative. But the grey part, this is the front bit, okay? That's the back bit. Front, back. Okay? And we get the second one. And you want to have it face in the same way as the, the one previous. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so I've turned it upside down now, as you can see. Okay, so <clears throat> the uh, two prongs, which is in there and there, which will be the two on the inner, there and there, you want to bend them in. Now you probably noticed that the board has actually been turned upside down. Yeah, my mistake. So yeah, make sure that the, the solder uh, spots, is what I call them, is on the bottom and that's on the top. Let's get bending. Okay, so you can see I bent them now. Like I said, I'm not electrically minded, but it works. So, you've got the prong here now. And you've got the prong just here. Now you want to solder these two together, okay? Solder these babies. Now I will say when soldering, try not to get distracted because you know you burn your fingers and you know it bloody hurts. So when uh, soldering your your board, make sure that no one's disturbing you. You have no distractions, you know, and uh, you should do all right. Okay, so as you can see, I've just soldered the, the two in the middle. All right, so next we turn it back round. All right, so now what we need is the diodes. Okay, now I'm putting these on. Just make sure that you put them on the right way. Okay, now you can tell to the grey tip on the end. Okay, as you can see, I've got one in. 
You can see the grey tip on the tip, on the tip of the tip of the tip of the, the diode. Yeah, okay, so now we want to put the second one in. And, uh, I don't know what I was going to say then, but, and, uh, does the job. Okay, so, you've got the two little diodes in now with the capacitors, and it should look something like this. And, just remember the, uh, the, the grey tips there, and the grey tips there are directional, so they must go that way. And then remember that these capacitors here, which you would have already soldered them in, are going that way. Okay, next one. Okay, so now we want to turn it upside side down. Okay, so these are the diodes there, as you can see. All right, and you want to solder these two together. Okay, so when you've done that, you should have uh, something like that. Now, as you can see, this is its not very professional, but uh, it's a bit difficult trying to work around the, you know, the camera and, yeah, all that stuff. Um, all the excuses under the planet, I know, but that's it. So, anyway, what we want to do now is, okay, so these ones here now, in the middle... Just snip them off. Give me a little pebble in there. Ow! Mother, just let me in the eyeball. Okay, so turn it back over now. And what we want to do is we want to connect the pin from here to this one here. So under the back end, you've still got your existing pin there, to this one. Now obviously with this long uh, bar, what I tend to do is just bend it over so it's uh, soldered to that piece there. Okay, so what you should have now is... Okay, so that pin to that pin there. I made a boo boo. Oh well, could be worse. Now we need the LED. Now remember the the positive is the long one, and the negative is the shorter. Okay, so we want to stick the shorter piece in the top point here. Okay, so the the short arm up here. Now holding these LEDs can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So what I suggest is feed it through. Once you feed it through. Just get the other one and bend it over there and they stick and then all you do is you just solder that piece on. Okay so once you put the LED in you need your little resistor there. Okay so the resistor is going to go from this point down. Okay. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Okay, so the resistor from the other end then. This rod goes to the LED point here. So hook that to here. Okay, so from that end again, turn it upside down, and then the 
Okay, snip it off. Alrighty then. So now what we want to do is the prong that comes from the capacitor must go to this point and that one to that one. Okay, so hook these three up. Okay, so <clears throat> turning it back over. There, there, there. There, there, there. Okay. So now you need a, a red and black cable. I have red and black because it's just easy to identify positive and negative, but you have whatever color you want. Um, now the red one, we want to attach the red one to, if I turn this over, in the middle of here. Okay, so in the middle of there, to this point here. Okay, so where the two diodes are in the center, to so put the red cable on that one there. Okay, and the black one goes in the middle of here, which is this one there. So put the black one just on there. Okay, so the uh, last bit here now is the the um, blinking. I forgot the name of it. Anyway, this bar on the side of the. Do you know my mind's gone blank? I need a coffee. Two seconds. Okay, so the metal prong from the LED here. On the other side, you haven't soldered it onto anything yet, so you want to put this piece here onto this point here. So it'll be from here to there. Like what we did on this side here, you want to do the same to that prong there. Okay. <laughs> Right, so basically, the prong goes from this one to here to there. This prong goes from there to there to there. Now, if I turn it upside down, okie dokie. Right. Okay, so once you've done all that now, all you really need to do is connect it to a speaker. Now, what I've done is I bought a little circuit uh, device off Amazon. Uh, you download the audio file onto that. It's got a little speaker that comes with it. Uh, the button and the power pack. Uh, it was about £7 or something like that. But uh, it was just a tester because when we get the speaker with the car... Uh, this will be hooked up to the speaker of the car. So, so now I'm going to put this to the test now. So, I'll just press my little baby button there. Zoom back into that bad boy. And da -da 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 -da. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. J-I-T-T -T for easy reference. A jet if you prefer. Alright, so I'll do that with the lights dimmed a bit now. Yes, I like mince pies. I bloody love them in five. All right, I'm gonna get serious now. Turn the light off. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. K I T T for easy reference. A kit if you prefer. Okay, so there you have it, guys. I mean, as you can see now. Sorry, I'm still scuffing. Um, if I turn this on. I and turn it off. You notice it fades. 
and that's because of the the power uh, collection in the in the uh, capacitors, which is actually a nice effect because you don't want it just on off. You want it. I'm the voice of Night Industry Two Thousand. Page out, lovely. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm hoping, I really am hoping that this uh, little tutorial has helped you try to make your own little circuit. Uh, as I said before, it's a very simple little circuit. You know, you've got the resistors, uh, the LED, the two diodes, and the capacitors. And under the bottom here, it's literally link, 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 link. And then this point here is the only one that doesn't really uh, do much. So, which is there. So, I'll try to explain it from the top view now. So, the two prongs go together there. The diodes go together there. The resistor here hooks to the prong to the LED on this side. And then the LED prong on this side goes to there to there this prong goes from there to there to there you got the red cable that comes off the diode here and then the black one which comes from, from in between the two capacitors there so it is really that simple but then saying that I've done this probably like 10 times now so but for any of you who this is the first time, um, you know, don't get me wrong. I've I've burnt myself many times. I've made mock ups. I've you know you you name it. I've done it. But if you wanna if you wanna build this little circuit for for your kit, um, practice first. Uh, don't try to try to do something um, micro or anything. Just just you know, here's a few that I've. See, I've I've done a few testers. Yeah. Um, here's my little micro one, but like I said, uh, just give it a go. Just give it a shot. Um, you're gonna make mock ups. Um, when you're soldering, try not to have the solder on too hot because you'll just you'll just pop the parts. Um, if you find that you've you've soldered everything and it's not working. Uh, the suggestions that I would make, which I have made the mistake myself, is number one, uh, the solder is too hot. Turn that, turn that off. The solder is too hot, so therefore you're gonna burn the, the components. Number two, make sure that on the capacitors, the gray is facing up which if I am right, yeah, this is the negative side. Okay, so make sure that the prong on the LED is negative. Otherwise, it ain't flashing. Um, on the diodes, remember the little, the gray tips on the, I'm trying to zoom that in so you can see it. There's my little man in the background making a load of noise. Probably destroying the place, wrecking everything, bugging his mum. Gotta love him. Cool. Sounds like my uh, my wife's getting having a handful down there. But yeah, so um, that's it, guys. Okay, so I'm really hoping that maybe this has helped you. Happy days, and I'm so sorry if the video went on for so long. Um, I've never done one of these before, so there you go. All the best, and you guys stay safe, and uh, wish you a Merry Christmas.